Coach, what areas have been you've been trying to shore up the most in the last week on the floor? Well, I think we've made some progress offensively. Uh, you know, I, I hope our defense hasn't slipped with that. But, um, you know, just being a little more patient. Um, you know, I brought it up to our coaches. We haven't had a shot clock play all year. And, and, and we're shooting 40% and 28 as a team from three or whatever it is. You know, you, you, we got to be a little more patient, a little more disciplined. Um, I, I thought assists, you got 20, we had 12 on 14 at halftime, 21 for the game on 29 field goals. Uh, obviously, the turn, turnovers, and a lot of them, they had steals because uh, uh, we didn't, you know, they have 10 steals. That means we're very careless with the ball. Now, they gambled and did some things, uh, and some of it was a bench, not, you know, understanding how hard guys play. But um, I thought we made some progress, scored the most points, uh, you know, best field goal percentage, uh, you know, threes. If you, you know, look at the starters threes, it's, it's really good. Um, you know, so that, that's where we got to continue to make some progress. And, um, you know, and if we're going to Saturday and moving forward, you, you got some pretty tough games coming and then conference is about a month away. We got to keep improving. And I always go back to Coach Snyder. You know, you watched them early, and they always got better. And I think Coach Kleiman did a great job this year of getting them better, even after adversity. You know, winning three, losing two, not looking very good, coming back and playing at a high level down the stretch. And um, that's that's a key. With and, and we're such a new team. I, obviously, we were spoiled. I was spoiled. Uh, but I, we got to help coach teach. They got to make a commitment to it. And... Um, you know, if you know, three key words for me are consistency, dependability, and efficiency. And if right now, you know, Xavier and 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 Mike and Cartier gave us all three of those tonight. Now we I, we got to get a couple other guys to join. And Antonio's fine, you know, to get nine points and three rebounds. He's you know he's doing some good things. So, uh, but we need some other people to help out with that if we're going to beat good quality teams as we move forward. What, what was your assessment of your off the ball movement tonight? I thought it was better. Uh, you know, it's the one thing we did the last two days. Uh, you know, we did again. You come back from Florida. You know, it's uh, you know with all the new rules, you can't use the travel day as a day off. So we had to give a day off, so you couldn't really practice, and you had two days of practice. But that's all we talked about, and and uh, you know that's what we got to we got to be a little more pace, a little more discipline. And let let the offense come. Uh, two different questions. First, where's Montavious at with his injury right now? And then second, uh, what's Marquette offer outside of Howard? That could be a challenge. Well, if you look at it was Howard first. Obviously, he had 50 again and 40 or something this weekend. And uh, but Maryland found a way to shut him down. I, I'm not. I didn't get to watch it. We were practicing. Um, you know, start watching it tonight or tomorrow. Uh, but the. Last year, the, the one guard, the three man hurt us. Um, he he had a huge game the other night, 17, and then they got the new player. Uh, he had 27. So you know, we obviously we got to do a great job on hard. You got one of the best guards in the country coming here. Uh, it's a little bit of Trey Young when he came here. Uh, it's we got. I think I believe we have good defenders. Uh, Mike McGurl, Xavier Sneed, uh, Cartier when he has his mindset. So we have enough people to rotate, but with him, it's going to be the big guys being in the ball screens, being at the line. Max got to raise his level uh, defensively in Levi. Uh, and then with Montavious, probably a long shot for Saturday. Um, he did get the brace off. He did do some running. Uh, I just don't know if they're going to allow us to push him and take that chance. And, um, you know, when you – you know, you, you're worried about the rest of the season. We can't have a major setback. But um, hope, you know, whether it's Saturday or next Wednesday or the Saturday after, I, I think it's sooner than later. How much did you miss Montavious in Florida for depth purposes? Oh, there's no doubt. You know, he, his, you know, when I said efficiency, consistency, dependability, those are things that he's been. And it's not, and again, now he's not going to practice for a month or whatever it is, three weeks, a month. So, it, you know, I'm not. He's a freshman. It's going to be – the level is picked up. It's going to be hard for him. But, you know, there's there's no doubt. It's the end of the game against Pittsburgh. comes down to a possession or two. If you have him in there, 
it, you know, you know, you make a free throw, you make a play, whatever. But you know, obviously, it, it didn't. It, it it hurt us not to have them. even tonight. You get Levi two, Mac two, then three, then three, then you know. Now you got Antonio and Xavier and Mike as your Mike McCurl as your big guys. You know, it's it makes it a little tough. Could you guys shoot uh, 54% from the field, uh, 21 assists on 29 made shots? Would you like best about your offense tonight? It's you know I, I thought when that one possession in the first half was a clinic. You know I talked before we needed hockey assists. We haven't had those in a while. I thought we had you know a couple times overdid it. Um, you know Xavier one of the last plays he was in there. We ran a little set. Cardi made the right read because they stayed in on Mac and he was wide open. You got to shoot it. I, I think a couple times, some of the turnovers were they were trying to be a little too patient. And I'd rather have that, I guess, than and then you know then to just jack it up there or just you know drive in and have nothing there. So um, you know, slowly but surely making progress. We got to make progress from home practice. Bruce, just how, how important was it to have a game like tonight? You know, where you guys win as kind of dominantly as you did just just for the team's mindset of getting oh, off the two game losing streak. it was it was a good good game to have for our guys because they were sick i mean they you know we they had their heart set on going to florida and and win trying to win a tournament obviously we had every chance against pittsburgh we don't know what would happen against northwestern we didn't do it um i i, I thought i did a good job against bradley not overdoing the pittsburgh loss um Obviously, I didn't get their attention. It was our worst defensive night of the year. Um, and, and we hit them. They were embarrassed. It's so funny. I even showed them videos of announcers talking about how important that second game is, how you got to show his character, toughness. Uh, but I, I guess I just didn't do enough to get them over the hump. And, but, you know, again, everyone has adversity during the year. And how do you deal with it? You know, and that's part us as a staff, part leadership. And, and then, you know, part them, just what is it about? Toughness. You know, that, you know do you have toughness? Do you, do you have effort? Do you have a great attitude? And then what's your motive? You know, what's your motive? Why are you here? What are you trying to help K-State have a successful season? And, and if you add those all up, you have a good team. And that's, that's what we, we got to really focus on and continue to move forward. 26 points from Mike the last two games. Is he turning a corner for you? Well, I hope so. And I don't want to get overboard and start writing feature articles on him or anything. But I, I'm happy for him. And the reason it's it's happened, one, he's gotten in the gym. Two, he's, he's worked on shots that he can make and when he works out. And then three, we've gotten him open shots. And that's that's a good thing. Actually, the whole – I thought he played really well at the tournament. Played well again here the last game at home. I, he was up to 40 from three, so he had four, to, four out of six. I, he's probably 44, 42. So he's doing some good things. Uh, you know, good. It, it's positive. And, he, and we, he's got to keep that pride in being a defensive stopper. Could you guys do lose that 20 turnovers to nine? How many of those were unforced errors and how many of well, those I, were That's there? what I said. Ten steals for them. You know, some that they pressed us in our, you know, subs, you know, they had – you know, the bench had, what, eight there in that one stretch. You know, that's too many from them. But And Mac had some, uh, I'm not sure what they were, passes. Um, but, you know, we we got to be uh, tighter with the basketball. And, you know, 21 assists is maybe 10 turnovers, 12 turnovers at the most. But, um, you know, again, I'm just looking for positive. We scored 76 points, 39 most at half. 50-some percent shooting, definitely made strides. We talked about Marcus Howard a little bit earlier, but what, what is Mar Marquette? How are they different than they were than well, last year? Well, you lost year? the Hauser twins. You know, that they were, and I think last year we were so worried about them that, you know, Howard was able to, you know, we should have stayed in on some things on Howard. We got to keep him off the free throw line. And, you know, if you remember back last year, what, 20-some free throws, you guys, you guys probably know better than I do, but – um, you know, we got to keep him off, make him earn baskets. If he makes some tough threes off the dribble, hey, so be it. But then we got to make them guard us And on the other end. And, you know, you hope for a high-level game. It's, it's Saturday night, 8 o'clock. You got a good team, one of the best players in the country. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, great energy in the building. 
uh, you know, it, it, and then we, we step up and play at a high level. That's, that's, that's our goal, and we'll see what happens. It all works out. And you got the new jerseys, and uh, the throwbacks would look incredible, uh, really cool. You know, I know everyone got excited about the, the script cats with football. You know, to me, this is even cooler. So hopefully people are excited. It'll be a great opportunity. And, and lavender shoes, I hope I get some of those. You know, Cardi again tonight with, with seven assists. Seven assists. Uh, I mean, I know, again, he has had some, some turnover issues this year, but when, I mean, he's had six assists. And the turnovers are casual. Yeah. He, he shouldn't have them. He's got to be tighter with the basketball. Um, I've talked to him after the tournament, and he said, Coach, they're all coming at me. I said, yes, you're on the number one on the scouting report now. you got to understand that. So just keep getting assists. Get 10, get 12, lead the league in it. People will notice. The dude from Murray got in the NBA because he led the country in assists or whatever. The other day, the guy from Sacred Heart gets on Sports Center because he gets 24 assists. It's okay. It's a good thing. And I know he wants to make shots and everyone does. But do what, you, what they give you. Some days they're going to be scoring. But, you know, be, be proud that you're doing this. Not only that, the steals, seven, seven assists, five steals. A lot of good things from him. Well, I mean, what I was going to ask, I guess, is just when's the last time that you recall coaching got on this, this kind of streak of just this many assists in so many consecutive games? You know, and, and, and again, I, I don't know. You know, we had Darren Williams. He was pretty good. Um, you know, through the years, I've had some guys that could really pass the basketball and, and consistently. But, uh, and we, you, know, to, you know, we do give him the ball, so he has it a lot. He's just got to make the, all the right decisions, and that's going to be key. And if, if, we make, if we shoot 50-some percent, he's going to get more and more assists. I wish the one rule change, all those people, in FIBA, the one thing I loved, if you threw a pass to a guy who got fouled on a layup or something, if he made his free throw, you got an assist. And that's one thing we're, I don't understand how we're so, you think about that. Some of the best passes are the guys that get fouled. And he probably has two or three of those every game that, uh, that would, uh, you know, even give him more assists. So that's just my pet peeve after coaching FIBA basketball. Anything else? All right. See you. See you Saturday night.